Well, good morning. It's a beautiful but chilly morning this morning. It's about minus 12 today. We're gonna do a bit of a farm tour today. We get lots of questions. Holy cow, the sheep are uh, rambunctious this morning. We had lots of questions, lots of requests for farm tours. We actually recently had a customer stop by to pick up their lamb. And they're like, well, we saw, you know, on the video and it looks like your chicken house is so much further from the actual house. Well, the camera adds 100 pounds and 100 yards, but the reality is the chicken house, which you guys see pretty much every day, is exactly 40 steps from the front door to the front door of the chicken house. So it's actually not that far. This, you guys see this again every day too. This is a big shop. It's pretty much the infrastructure hub of the whole place. It was the first thing we built when we moved here. We first got here in 17, right where Big Ben is here. We had our camper trailer parked there over the summer while we built this shop and lots of stuff happens in here. We build stuff, we fix stuff, uh, we care for animals in here. There's a couple times we've even had sheep in here to lamb. So it's worth every penny we spent Good on morning, this. Ben. Who'd you find there, Charlotte? Chickens? Morning, ladies. Supposed to be in here. <clears throat> you might think you hit the jackpot, but no, mama. Out you go. You too. So this over here, this is the pig pen. It was never actually designed as a pig pen. This is actually where we put the rams. And we pull them off to use late in winter. And that little shack is all 100% reclaimed material. It actually used to sit down in the ram pen where we keep them over the summer. But I figure they probably need it more in the winter time. So I actually drag it up here with the tractor. This was the second piece of infrastructure we ever built after the shop. We built this, uh, this our little lambing shed here. It's 28 by eight and uh it's mostly reclaimed materials except for the osb you see the blue wood that's on there we actually bought that everything else is pallets or reclaimed tin or uh two by fours from an old pipe yard if you want some perspective about how far the pig pen is from the house there's the house there's the pig pen so it's about 100 yards it's not very far but we're just about to head into wild donkey country there's actually not any donkeys in here right now we just got the bulls in here the donkeys are all in with the rest of the horses so we're gonna head down to the creek first, and then we're gonna head down to the bottom of the quarter section, right where the lake meets the property. Good line. morning, fellas. Right, so we're down at the bottom of the hill here now in what we call the alleyway. So there's a pipeline right away, it runs all the way from those gas wells over there, all the way through across, completely across the entire farm. So we've got a treed section. This is where the ephemeral draw Basically a, a, a temporary stream, or an intermittent stream, sorry, runs through the farm in the spring and then feeds down into Hay Lake down at the bottom. So this creek will run through here. Three months of the year is virtually impassable. There are other years, of course, it's longer or shorter depending on a lot of times what we have for winter snowfall or even summer rainfall. But you can see the house up top there. And that's... Uh, yeah, I don't even know how far that is. It's, it's a good hike anyways. So we're just down here now in the southeast pasture. So this is one of our best pastures actually when it's not covered in snow, mainly because all the topsoil ran down off the hill and is all down in here, as well as it's well watered. So just in behind this willow bluff here is where the lake actually is. You can kind of see there's a bit of a reed bed there. In the summertime, that's usually, that's usually the lake is on this side of the fence and you get a bit of uh, you know reeds and stuff in there. In the, in the springtime when all the snow melts and everything, there's about 10% of this field, you know, kind of up to about right up here. So this will be underwater for a few weeks while everything melts off and then, and then runs away to the south. But yeah, for perspective purposes, 
that's the house way up there. So this is the wooded section here. It's kind of a continuation of the one I showed you there when we did the creek crossing. This, this is a place where the cows take shelter lots in the summertime, provides a lot of shade, provides a lot of shelter from the wind and stuff like that. But they don't spend a lot of time in the bush. There's a lot of willows and overgrowth and stuff like that. It's not the most hospitable place. But as the water runs down through here, by the time it gets down into here, it's pretty much, it's no longer a stream. It, it disperses through the trees and then spreads over land. And this is, this is kind of the water line in the springtime as it comes through the trees and then cuts off down into the corner and heads off into the lake. But it's, it's completely overland by this time. It's no longer cutting a channel. So this is where our corrals are. We've got one big one right here. Then there's a smaller one on the other side. And way over there, there's a round pen. It's kind of tough to see. Tough to see because it's so high. Way over there. But this was all designed for a buffalo, so that's why it's so high. But it does make it does make a good, you know, bit of a sorting facility for the cows in the fall when they come in and head back to Rio Grande. Just beside the corrals here, there's a bit of a trail where you drive the side by side through. But if you watch this spring, you'll know there's a giant hole here which wasn't here in 2019, but due to overland flooding and stuff, this big hole washed out. And like three days after we bought the side-by-side, -side, I put the, <laughs> I drove it right in that hole and drowned it out. So that was an adventure. So where we're walking right now, this is where the creek actually flows. It flows kitty corner up past the neighbor's house, right through here. And then on, there's a little dugout past there, but it basically flows through these willow trees and off away. This little pen right here, this is where we pasture the rams all summer long. And they seem to have quite a fun time in there. The first year we had sheep, we actually kept all of our sheep. We only had five of them, but we kept them in here. And we had that little shelter that's in the pig pen right now, sitting over there. And all our hay bales were stacked up. And I'd have to hike down every day from all the way up there down to here to feed a hay bale and, and give them water. I think it was right around March sometime where we got a huge snowstorm and there was really only about maybe 18 inches of fence sticking up over top of the snow. We had to come down here and have a rescue mission and get our sheep back. And that's when we decided we were gonna put them up close to the house for the winter. Hi Rosie. There is of course more to the farm if you go down to the uh, western side on the other side of the creek. But right now, this time of year, all they'll be showing you is snow in a field. So we'll maybe revisit that one in the summertime when there's actually critters out moving around out there. Hi, Eeyore. Hey, buddy. Anyways, it is getting pretty cold out here. So I'm thinking I'm going to fix Charlotte up a snack, make myself a cup of tea. We'll let you go for now. Hope you have a fantastic day. We'll see you tomorrow.